Hello Virgo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week of August 21st and this is a quick and general reading. Virgo. Virgo, you can't be dealing with a this is a person who is um either you could be dealing with the law this week or yeah, someone like in uniform is what I'm seeing. Um, this could be the law or an attorney or someone in uniform. So that is showing up for some of you. So I do feel this um, energy. This is a strong week for Virgo to, it's your head over heart, you know, um, think very logically, being true to yourself, being truthful, Um Honesty is the best policy, I want to say here, too. This is being truthful and honest and with yourself and with others. But I do see here being, you know, it's like self-discipline, being disciplined, um, um, maintaining focus is very important. You will gain some uh, clarity and you're taking more authority this week, too. So it's like you're kind of stronger um, emotionally. You're very analytical this week, too. Someone may have a question out there. It's actually a maybe. It's a possibility. You can. You need to be honest with yourself is what I'm seeing here. There is an underlining energy. You're just quite not happy with your life. There's either something that's still missing. Um, you are allow these negative thoughts and you are holding yourself back in. Some of you just want to break free, escape, or there's an ongoing situation. So that does show up here. Okay. But you do have the freedom to do so. Overall, I do see here, too, you could be recon uh, reconciling with someone this um, this week, too. For some of you, this is a connection to someone from your past is coming back. You could be making some plans for um, the next season coming up, which here would be fall. So I do see that kind of energy, but that is going to be a strong new beginning for you as well. Um, some worries that you had are going to be leaving you, and I do see that fears that you have. It's more in your head than it is your reality. You're focused more on disappointments than you are focused on the good in your life. Yes, there are some disappointments this week, but I do feel here also you need to be more realistic, not idealistic, okay? So kind of lower expectations from others or things like that. So I do feel that as well. Some things that have been occurring um, maybe since March through June is possible. Timing is different for everyone. You may find a closure now or something is ending. Maybe this was just a job that you had at the point or an activity. Something is ending from there too. Okay. And energy is dissipating and ending. I do see good deal with business and finances is showing up. You could be dealing with another Virgo this week or someone who exhibits those energies. Um, don't be so stubborn this week too. I mean, you could be, <laughs> I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Um, this is like, you're kind of like set in your ways. Um, but you know, what you want is there before you, either is some divine timing though. You just need to stay focused. There will be a recovery of something that's, uh, that's been lost or, um, uh, replenished. So I see a recovery. Maybe this is also health, some area in your life. Um, you're dissipating or waning interest in something as well. Something is not quite as important to you anymore as well. Um, I do see you need to be patient. You're quite impatient. The universe is actually speaking here too, that you need to be patient, okay? You're impatient. You're trying to push things along, but um, it's divine timing. Some certain events and things need to occur before something comes through. Um, I do think see things are going to be expanding in your life. This is watch your weight. Some of you could be um, gaining weight this week somehow. So that's just for some of you. But I do see an expansion. Okay, something is going to start expanding, maybe a business, um, some certain area in your life. I do feel here overall that you feel rejected um, or your fear of rejection. Okay. Now, you know what? Um, sometimes it's like a baby needs to cry to get its milk. So if you asked out of 10 people, one person is willing to help or say yes. Okay. So there's that message there as well. 
Virgo, persevere this week, okay? Don't give up. I do see that energy, but I also see here things are still a process, but don't give up, all right? You have some indecisions to make. This could be between two jobs or people, and I do feel that this is also, you're not trusting yourself. You're not trusting what you want. Um, you know, this could be sometimes you get two offers or something like that. Uh, this is also, it's like a deadlock, Sometimes you need to compromise or this can be also a disagreement with someone and it's better to agree to disagree than not to, okay? Some of you may not want to make a decision because you're trying to manipulate a situation to see how it's going to first go. I do see you making money for some of you as well, but you are trying to make some adjustments with your work and uh, career here. This is looking at the long-term and future investments and this is money coming in. Um, I do see here creative solutions, beautiful energy here too. Uh, this is um, feeling more grounded, confident, and centered as well. Counting your blessings is going to be very important this week too. You do, it's like you're focused on some kind of um, options there. You're not too happy with them. You're kind of bored or you're just like, um, I don't know. Or, um, But you're not seeing um, that there is another offer or something in divine timing coming up as well. So I do see that. You do have help around you. You are being slowed down for some reason as well, and it is spiritual. It's different for everyone. Um, you need to give some things up to get something too. You need to make some personal sacrifices, okay? I do feel here when you sit still too, you answers will come to you. Patience is important as well, okay? So definitely seeing that kind of energy. Um, I do see also... Um, Help that you need is available and it's on its way too. So there is help out there as well for you, okay? So you don't have to deal with everything alone, so to speak, okay? Patience is important too. There is a special message this week for a Virgo to stay focused. Stay as focused as possible and as much as you can as well, okay? Don't waver. All right, um, Virgo. This is a reading for the week of August 21st through August 27th. I want to say happy birthday to the ones that kick off the Virgo season. We're in Virgo season now. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. Check out the next video. I did do a um, solar year birthday reading, a very quick and general one for all Virgos. You can find that. It's the next video it's, um, on my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. I do post daily pick a card readings and daily uh, birthday readings. And um, yeah, for everyone else, have a fabulous week. Talk to you next week. Bye for now.